Voice reveal jump scare. This video was initially going to be just a simple Bad Night CR 1 through 8 clear compilation where I was gonna put a status update thingy in the description, but then I decided, fuck it, I'm going to do a talk video. Besides, people like casual talk videos, especially when they're more than an hour long and on a subject matter they likely don't know anything about. But, anyways, yeah, I primarily wanted to make this video to show people that one, I'm not dead. To where have I been lately? Now you may be thinking that, oh, Hesse hasn't uploaded in a while. That means he must be really busy working on his video essay, Lore Analysis on Horn, right? Well, my friend, you are wrong. So here's the thing. I started editing the video essay near the end of July. In the middle of August, I didn't like how the video was going because it used TTS. And nobody's going to watch, like, six hours of analysis if it's done by a robot voice and not a human one. And I lurked in the Longman Dragons Discord server and confirmed it to be the case. So then around like mid-August, I got in a VC with some friends and rehearsed the script to get more comfortable with using my voice. Then made a switch from TTS to my own voiceover definitive soon after. But that would also mean redoing the video from the ground up again. And I've only got like 45% of the script voiceover actually recorded by the way, while I've edited the voiceover in post for the first like, three cutscenes, while I've only fully edited the new intro. Yeah, the development of this video has been definitely rocky as fuck for the past like, three months or so. As of right now, I'm currently in light burnout mode where I'm definitely thinking of working on it again, but at the same time, I don't feel like it. It's this weird sort of Schrodinger's cat situation, I guess. Oh, also, another major thing that's stopping me from fully committing to working on it again. I just started college. I moved into my dorm near the end of August and just started like two weeks ago as of making this video. My mind was way too preoccupied with a bunch of other shit to focus on the video essay, i.e. my dorm buddies and my majors focusing on my art again. Oh yeah, there's also that. I've been starting to pick up on focusing on my art again, primarily because the college and major I'm attending is entirely art related. And I've also essentially picked up an entirely new art related project to keep me preoccupied in the meantime, which is a fake mon region based on the Valve games. And yet, barely any time or desire to work on my video essay unfortunately. I've been trying my best to bring back the motivation to resume work on it, but nothing's been working as of late. I know there's no point in forcing the muse and hey, Rome wasn't built in a day, nor am I in a rush to get this video out before a certain date. And it's not like I'm in a competition or race to release my analysis video on Horan and Janie before anyone else does, so... In the meantime though, I am going to try and see if putting out smaller videos like this one will help reignite my inspiration. Also, I've had a conversation this morning regarding the Bloodline of Combat skins in Arknights, which partially motivated me to remake the Bloodline of Combat Theory video with my voiceover, hopefully causing me to get used to the flow of making videos again, so perhaps be looking forward to that as well. But yeah, that's the situation going on right now. I didn't feel like making this a YouTube community post or forcing into a description somewhere else because it was mostly complicated to fit in there. I know as well that the script has been really informal but then again, this is just a small status update video so that you can know what I've been and what I've been doing for the past few months. Anyways, that's gonna be it for now. Thank you guys for briefly listening, I hope to see y'all again soon in a later video. I shall leave you with a preview of the highly ambitious horn analysis essay by showing you just the intro. Victoria servicemen should take pride in their own discipline. As esteemed soldiers of the Victorian military, it was seen that Rita Scamandros and Jane Willow both hold their positions in high regard as those who serve their country with pride and loyalty, but more importantly, patriotism. Not in the sense of America fuck yeah but more so through their own interpretations of said concept, that they carry on their soldiers with pride as their defining piece of characterization. Before the release of Stormwatch and the debut of these two characters in the new Shadow of a Dying Sun arc, 
The most we knew of Victorian and his armed forces prior was through Operator Bagpipe, who was released all the way back through the Chapter 6 Partial Necrosis, a cheery, female woman at heart, as well as a highly disciplined Victorian soldier and graduate from the country's Royal Guard Academy alongside her colleague Chen. Now, with Rhodes and his focus shifting from Reunion's chaos in Chernobog and Lugman to the sarcastic tyranny in Londinium and their threat to Victoria and the world as a whole, it was finally the time to see what Victoria and its servicemen had to show us. With these two main characters introduced at the beginning of the new Victoria arc, they set up one of the central themes that can be consistently found all throughout the Doctor and Rhodes Island's adventures through Victoria and Londinium. This video will chronologically go over Stormwatch, Shatterpoint, as well as Horn and Silex, respective operator records and files. This video will also go over the various other characters that Horin and Selak interacted with over the course of these stories, as their dynamics and interactions with the other characters will serve to further highlight their own characterizations. After all, no person's character is developed in a vacuum, 